The tradition of hockey in this city is tremendous. Uh, great legacy, wonderful building, great fans. Uh, just a great place for us to be, really, and carry on uh, part of the legacy of Binghamton Hockey. So the FPHL has been there now for 10 years. We're going into our 11th season. Started out kind of almost as a regional league in the Northeast and primarily here in New York State. Uh, it's grown tremendously the last few years with teams as far south as Columbus, Georgia, as far west as Port Huron, Michigan, uh, and, and Watertown in the north. Um, and uh, we've grown in some really big buildings. We got uh, close to us here, we have Elmira, that previously had an East Coast team that's now playing in our league. Uh, Columbus, have a very big building, previously in a couple different leagues, and same with Carolina and Winston-Salem. So those three buildings alone and those three markets, very similar to Binghamton. It gives us tremendous hope for hockey here. I think it's a, it's a trophy market for the league, frankly, and I think it's going to further the growth. Uh, I think a lot of eyes are on us right now to see how well we can transition, but so far the feedback from supporters and the business community and especially the, the hockey community at large has been, has been phenomenal. First of all, the ticket prices are going to come down uh, significantly, which I know is a big concern of fans in the past. Um, uh, style of hockey is a little bit different. It's not as uh, tactically driven as, as AHL or ECHL hockey. It's more free-flowing, more old-school hockey, more physical play, more fighting, uh, which I know the fans are going to be excited about. Uh, they can also look forward to a lot more engagement off ice. I mean, community is such a big part of what we do. Our players are incredibly visible and active, and I think that's perhaps something that we can do. We're just a little bit better equipped to do that um, than, than some of the bigger leagues are in the sense that our guys really want to be out there and be a part of the community. They're not looking to get called up. They're not looking to get moved on. They, they're here because they love the sport and they want to be here. And I think that free-flowing hockey, um, together with lower prices, you get your whole family out here for, for $40 or less to see great hockey and some fantastic rivalries. I think that's what fans can really look forward to. So season tickets are available right now, uh, BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Uh, on the ticketing page, you can get all the information on there for how to get season tickets. Uh, schedule is just about to be launched here any day. So we'll also be able to sell you single tickets, uh, multi-game plans, pretty much whatever you want by calling our offices. You, we're, we're working with a concessionaire that's in place. Obviously, it's, it's ultimately outside of our control, but they've been very willing to listen, and I think they've taken on feedback from fans and, and the feedback that we've tried to provide them with. Uh, and we really look forward to that partnership. I know that um, we're going to try to get some specials on, on Friday nights. We, we're looking to bring in a band pretty much every Saturday night to make that a mainstay here, do a little bit more events and theme nights to help draw uh, more fans in and, and we're we're hoping for a reduction in, in prices of the concessions too and we're willing to do all we can to contribute to that ultimately it's out of our hands but so far uh, it looks to be a very good partnership so players really come our, our recruitment is really not all that different um, at this level than it is um, higher up we get uh, Canadian guys that played in juniors and, and you know are undrafted, American players that played in college, and we get some great talent coming over from Europe that see this as a great stepping stone to get into hockey in North America. Um, Coach, uh, Coach Henry, um, we kind of looked around for a little while to uh, find the right fit. Do you want someone that's going to be both? Um, really looking at, at, at three things, really. I mean, uh, on the hockey side, you want a great recruiter that has great connections to bring you the players that you need. You want someone with experience playing at a higher level, which he's got more than 400 pro games. So he's been around and he's played against some great players and played for some great coaches. And you need somebody that really buys into the whole philosophy of the team and the league of being your city, your team. This is here to represent Binghamton. It's not something that's here for the short term. And he really ticks all those boxes and he's very, very presentable and he's gone over very well so far. So really, the, the black bears, you know, we wanted something that was local, right? And, and we wanted it to be an animal. Um, 
and and the focus group that we used, we were asking them, what kind of animals have you seen locally that that were somewhat intimidating to you, right? And and the black bear was one that kept coming up, and we thought, is it, is it a good fit? You know, like a lot of, of teams are using bears as their logos. We just wanted to do a little bit of different design. Um, we're really happy with how it turned out. And uh, for the uh, the colors, really, the green colors, the, the city color of Binghamton, uh, Kelly Green, which a lot of locals didn't know that, but that's uh, that's the reason we went with the uh, with the green one. The white one, we wanted almost like a throwback, almost like the old Ranger jerseys from the 90s. And we think that one just looks awesome. And the black one is just kind of an intimidating jersey that we can bring out, uh, rivalry nights, big games. Uh, we can do like a blackout in here with rally towels or black t-shirts or whatever so we're really happy how it turned out it's always hard to get the branding right because there are so many different directions you can go uh, but i think we're we're really happy where we ended up shortly shortly we got an event coming up here i want to say early august uh with all the season ticket holders it's kind of last chance to renew your seat or, or take a look around the building see if you want to move but we're, we're expecting by, actually, there's an event on the 4th of July that we're going to be a part of. And we're hoping by then, at least, we're going to have some t-shirts, some hoodies, and some hats. And the jerseys will follow a little bit thereafter. Because I think if you come out, you're going to have a lot of fun. I mean, if you, if you for a minute, forget about, we used to have an AHL team, and this is a lower league. If you put that aside for a minute, and you come out and you give this a chance. I mean, first of all, the quality of play today compared to 10 years, never mind even five years ago, the standard of play is so much higher today compared to what it was. It's a lot more physical games. It's a lot more entertaining. You're not necessarily coming here just to watch the hockey. You're coming here for the all around experience. Your ticket prices are way, way, way lower than what they were. So you're able to come down here with a whole family at a really, really good price. And these guys are here to really be, I mean, all of us are, to be a part of the community. I mean, our, our whole motto has been your city, your team. And that's what we're trying to play into. Like whoever is coming here to play, they're not here for the money. They're not here to get moved somewhere else. They're here because they want to play pro hockey in Binghamton. And I think that's what you're going to find if you come out. Lower prices, hopefully better concession prices, and just a really entertaining style of hockey.